What's going on guys, T-Mart here, and today I got a pretty cool new toy in the mail that I'm actually pretty excited to check out, and I figured some of you guys might like to see it as well. I like to share this stuff with you guys. So, uh, anyway, what I'm talking about is this bad boy right here, the Net Duma R router. So, uh, this is something that some of you guys may have heard about before. One of the, the guys that I hear a lot about this thing from is Drifter, if you guys watch him. But, uh, you know, he has raving reviews about it. I've heard other good things from other people about it. And I, just, I wanted to check it out for myself. Uh, you know, if you guys don't know what it is, it's a gaming router that it's really focused towards gamers, especially gamers and kind of like what I do and what you guys play and watch and stuff like that. Like it's got a, a lot of really cool features if you're like a streamer or a YouTuber or stuff like that or if you just want the best like online gaming experience. So the two features that I'm looking forward to the most, there's a ton of them, but the two I'm looking forward to the most are it allows you to block certain regions for hosts. So like you won't play in a game where the host is over in like the UK or somewhere else like super far away. You can even limit it to you know really like tight around you and certain pings. So like 30 milliseconds or less or something like that. So that's going to be really good. It allows you to actually choose who your hosts are going to be and uh, you know kind of get better quality matches that way. As well, and, and this is like a big problem for a lot of people, it allows you to choose how much bandwidth to send to different areas. So like if your mom is watching Netflix and you want to play Xbox, you don't want her, you know, watching Super HD taking up most of the download speed. So you can allocate like a certain amount to your Xbox or to your PlayStation and then have the rest for the rest of the house. So I think that's kind of cool. You know, obviously my girlfriend, she like browses on the internet and stuff. So if I can like limit it down so she only gets what she needs and then I get everything else, that's obviously pretty good and it's gonna you know, result in better speeds for me. So let's go ahead and check this thing out. We're gonna open this thing up. I kinda got it out of the original shipping box, but this is what it looks like in the actual box itself. It looks like we have a quick start guide. I've actually, I've heard this is really, really easy to set up. I'm hoping for it. I'm really like, I am not very good at like technical stuff, especially in the internet side of things. I've had some really bad luck with it. So messing with my setup is making me a little bit nervous, but we're going to see if we can do it. It looks like if that's the instructions, I think I can handle it. But anyway, so we got that. Then we have this right here, a Microtik router board. Oh man, I don't even know if I've ever seen one of those things before. We have a ooh, cool, a little NetDuma uh, kind of like bracelet. And then we have the charger. Wow, that's super simple. So this is the router itself. I don't know if I've ever seen a router that looks like that. Interesting. All right, boys. Well, we're going to go to the office. We're going to get this thing set up and I'll see you guys in there. This office is an absolute mess. I can't wait to get in the new house and really set it up nice and bring you guys a setup video. I'm really excited about it. I've kind of like, look at all the stuff on the floor. My goodness, I have let this thing go. But um, anyway, so I wanted to show you guys, this is actually like incredibly simple. I can't believe I was worried about this. We have our ISP hub and we run an ethernet from that into the router. Then you have ethernets out of the router and it's got built-in Wi-Fi. That's the easiest thing I've ever seen before. Give me two seconds. All right, guys, so holy cow, that was incredibly easy. All my worries have been lifted. Literally all I did is you have one ethernet going from the back of the modem that uh, Bright House gave me. I think I have Bright House. It goes into the router and then everything else is plugged into that. It also has its own Wi-Fi, so we already have everything connected. And then you go to this, 192.168.88-1, and this is kind of like NetDuma's like control panel type thing. So I think... Just to make this better for you guys, I'm gonna switch over to where I'm like recording my screen so you guys can actually see it on screen. And uh, let's do it. All right, guys, we're here. So I'm just, I'm gonna check this out. Like I said, as you guys can see, there are a ton of different uh, tools and, and features and stuff like that. But uh, you know, I figured I might as well you know, bring you guys to this too because it's kinda cool. So congrats on installing your NetDuma R1 router. Cool, before we start uploading download speed, let's go ahead and run the test. You guys can see what my speeds are. Going out of Lake Buena Vista, Florida. It should be pretty good. I usually get higher speeds than what I paid for, which I've never had before out of an ISP. Boom, there we have it. All right, 51 by 17. I'm pretty sure I pay for 40 by 10. That's the highest one that they had, so uh, I'm happy with that. So we're gonna go uh, 51, 17. 
Okay, prevent house members from causing you to lag. Other people who share your connection can cause your games to lag. The NetDuma R1 can fix this by doing congestion control. Holy cow, preemptive, reactive. Okay, set bandwidth. Oh, we already did that. All right, congestion control. How much your connections other users are permitted to use? All right, to achieve this, left click and hold the download bars, percentage number, drag the left. We found that 70% is ideal. You can find your own sweet spot. Okay. We recommend you only activate this feature when you're gaming to ensure your connection is always optimal. Set the bars back. Device prioritization, <laughs> PlayStation 4. Boom, bitch! Let's go. That's awesome. We have a laptop over there, and as we connect more things to it, like if my girlfriend had her laptop set up to it, I had my phone on it and stuff like that, that's pretty cool. So I'm going to put like, I mean, it's going to be like that, dude. I want, I want some good quality PlayStation matches, and uh, I guess we'll go down to 70. I want to try this thing out. I, I want to hop in a game and see how it goes. Okay, so it says share excess, update distribution looks good. We now need to optimize your online experience by further filtering other players by their location. Ooh, host filtering up here. This is this is the second biggest feature I was excited about. So we'll see. We'll see how this works. All right, so we have stop distance lag. Another major cause of lag is connecting to other gamers who are located far away from you. Okay, select service, PlayStation 4, PlayStation Network. Okay, to prevent your game from connecting to users using a, or users a considerable distance away, set a maximum range. Do this by selecting and hold the bar's distance number and drag to the left or right. The higher the number, the greater the range. Okay. And the map below the router should have automatically detected your current location. This is represented by the white pin at the center of the radar circle. I am not in Australia. I can guarantee you that. So we're going to go ahead and move our home down here in Florida. And that's what it's currently looking for, but we can bring that down. Holy cow, dude. Within, I'm gonna say within, let's do 200 kilometers. P oh, ping assist? Actually, let's widen that up so we can do that. Players who are outside of your range will be prevented from connecting to you. How does this even, this is like wizardry, dude. I don't even know how that works. I literally know nothing about the internet though. All right, we are now ready for the ultimate online experience. Sounds good. Let's go ahead and check this thing out. I'm gonna switch over to recording some gameplay and uh, let's see what it's like. All right, boys, let's see what it's got. Oh my gosh. Almost everybody in the lobby has a four bar. I'm the most important one in there. I want a four bar to the host, but uh, that's pretty cool. It's very rare that you see that. So I'm gonna be honest, it actually like, so far, granted this is the first game, it actually feels really, really good. All my shots are hitting stuff like that. Obviously that could just be that I got in a good lobby. That's kind of the, the point of this router is that you always get in good lobbies. But uh, we'll see if it's, if it's consistent. I'm gonna play a few games of this and uh, see if we continually get the same results. So I'll report back and I'd say like, we'll play at least like five games to get a nice little uh, sample. All right, guys, so we're here to search and destroy. This is actually the fifth or no, it's the sixth game we played on it. And uh, let's check out the pink bar. Boom. Of course, it's a four bar, baby. We've literally had a four bar every single game that we've been in. I'm trying some aggressive sniping right now since we have this uh, this God connection. But um, anyway, yeah, so overall, it's been a very positive experience. Granted, you know, five games can be kind of a, a small amount to go off of. I'm going to keep playing on it for the next couple of weeks. I'll update you guys on Twitter. But so far... It's just, it's been good. Like, no weird connections with, you know, wanted bullets that bend around corners and stuff like that. Just overall, fantastic. Oh, shoot, there were two there. I'm not the best sniper in the world. But, uh, yeah, so, like, no weird wanted bullets, no weird lag. You know, I, I literally haven't even had a three bar, which is kind of cool. And uh, overall, it's been pretty good. The one thing I was concerned about is the time it would take to get into lobbies if you're, like, severely, you know, kind of limiting who you can connect to in terms of hosts. And uh, it hasn't been a problem. The first five games were pretty much instant. I even played arena mode. Like, I switched around. I played um, 
uh, ground war, I played domination, I played arena mode. Arena doesn't have too many people playing it. So, you know, limiting that and then limiting the host on top of that, I thought would take forever, but it got in right away. This search actually took like, I think it was like 35 or 40 seconds, which isn't too bad, but that was the, the longest out of all of them, which is, is kind of cool. So, um, I don't know, I just, you know, overall, I'm, I'm digging it so far, I'm liking it. I, uh, I'm a fan, like I said, I don't want to, you know, get too gung-ho about it too early, but uh, so far, first impressions are definitely very, very positive ones. So like I said, I'll update you guys as we go along. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, I believe that they're going to hook me up with like a, a discount code for you guys, where you guys can have uh, a little bit of money off. I think it's like 5%, don't quote me on that, but um, I'll give you guys details down in the description. Oh, come on, hit marker for real? Where's this guy gonna be at? I don't trust that. I'm gonna go up top. All right, let's finish out this round, see if we can get something good. But yeah, it's just like, it's an amazing thing when all of your bullets connect like they're supposed to. Like, like when you shoot at something that's there and the bullets just go into them, it's a great feeling instead of missing and, and you know, getting bs So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna catch you guys later again. I think that discount code's gonna work. I'll leave links and stuff down in the description. Check it out if you guys want to. So far, I'm actually really, really impressed with how it's worked. So thank you guys. I'll catch you all later. Peace out.